Good day everyone. Our topic for today is all about simple annuity part 1. So in this part 1, we will talk about the definition of simple annuity or annuity and um, we will talk about the solving simple annuity when the future value is missing. So this uh, topic is divided into three parts. So later on, I will discuss the part 2 of our uh, topic which is all about simple annuity. So first, let's define what is annuity is all about. When we are talking about annuity, a sequence of payment made at equal or fixed interval or periods of time. Annuities may be classified in different ways as follows. So, uh, pag sinabing annuity, ito yung sequence ng payment na binabay binabayaran mo. It can be every year, every six months, every quarter, or every month na binabayaran mo siya or hinuhulog-hulugan mo siya. Okay? So, meron siyang interval. These interval are fixed and equal. So, that is what we call annuity. So, meron tayong iba't ibang terms that uh, we will be gonna find out in uh, in discussing this topic. So, first, term of an annuity or T. So, time between the first payment interval and last payment interval. So, pag sabihin term of an annuity, this is the time between the first payment interval. Ito yung unang hinulog mo until the last time of the payment interval. Okay? Regular or pay periodic payment R. This is the payment na binibigay mo naman. Halimbawa, every month nagbibigay ako ng 1,000 pesos. So, 1,000 pesos is my periodic payment or regular payment. Okay. Next, amount or future value of an annuity. So, these are the sum of future values of all the payments to be made during the entire term of the annuity. So, ito yung uh, val uh, money or amount na hinulog mo sa buong term na binabayaran mo yung uh, maybe inutang mo or uh, hinuhulugan mo or maybe yung iniipon mo. So, present value of an annuity, P, sum of present values of all payments to be made during the entire term of an annuity. Ito naman yung mga present values or yung mga amounts na binayad mo kung magkano sila. In the future value, meron na kasi siyang uh, interest. But in the uh, present value, these are the principal amount that you uh, give, maybe, that you, uh, yung hinulog mo, yung binayaran mo, okay, in an, in an annuity. Okay? So, ngayon, let's have uh, these annuities maybe illustrated using a time diagram. So, uh, meron tayong sample time diagram for an annuity. The time diagram for an ordinary annuity payment are made at an end of the year is given below. So, this is a time time diagram. So, we have zero which is kung kailang ka maybe nangutang halimbawa. So, first month magbabayad ka, tapos second month, third month, or third per, uh, period, pede uh, fourth, fifth, until end, kung hanggang kailan yung term matatapos. Okay? This one, two, three, it's pwedeng month siya, pwedeng quarter, pwedeng semi-annually, pwedeng yearly. Ma maaring yearly mo siyang binabayaran. So now, to understand better about annuity, I give uh, an example. So for future value, when the future value is missing, I prepared two examples. But let's first talk about the formula that we're going to use. So the formula that we will be going to use in this uh, topic is all about, uh, is this. So we have F equals R, quantity 1 plus J raised to N minus 1 over J. So ito yung formula na gagamitin natin, okay? So, ano ba yung R? Ano yung J N? So, for N is the is equal to MT. The total number of conversion period. Okay? So, I already uh, talk about this in the compound, compounded more than once a year. So, pwede mong balikan nyo yung topic na yun dito. And then, J equals I over M, rate per conversion period naman. Okay? So, ito muna yung mga isosolve natin bago natin maso, uh, bago natin mabigyan ng values itong ating formula na may J at saka N. Ito yung mga given natin na makikita sa problem. So, we have R, the periodic payment, I for nominal rate, M for frequency conversion. Remember, I is the nominal rate. Ito yung percentage. Okay? The, na dati letter R. And for letter M, this is the frequency conversion. So, halimbawa, yearly, yung kanyang letter M ay 1. Kung, kung uh, semi-annually, 2. Quarterly, 4. 
kung monthly, 12. For time in years naman siya. It cannot be uh, in months. Pwede siya, but, but you need to use the formula M divide 12. Okay, let's have an example. Suppose Mrs. Maria would like to save 3,000 every month in a fund that gives 9% compounded monthly. How much is the amount of amount of future value, I think, of her savings after 6 months? So, si Mrs. Maria Dow ay gusto mag-invest no, ng 3,000 every month sa funds na nagbibigay ng 9% compounded monthly. At yung amount na yon or yung 3,000 na yon na yung hulog niya for 6 months. So, every month, 6 months. So, that's, I think, equal to 6 times 3 is 18,000. 18,000 na mahuhulog niya. Pero, ang fund ay nagbibigay ng 9% compounded monthly. So, every month, tumutubo yung kanyang hinuhulog ang pera. So, or hinuhulog na pera. So, how much is the amount or of future value? So, ang hinahanap natin is the future value of this payment na binibigay ni Mrs. Maria. So, magkano yung may ipon niya kasama yung interest after 6 months. So, to do that, first write the problem and then write the given. So, for our given, we have R, which is equal to 3,000. I, which is 9% or 0 0.09. Turn this into a decimal form. M equals 12. Bakit 12? Because ang sabi dito, compounded monthly. So, it is compounded monthly. And then, T equals 0 0.5. Okay? So, these are our uh, given. Now, let's first solve the letter N. For letter N, we have the formula MT. So, we will multiply the convers frequency conversion period and the time, which is 12 times 0 0.5, and the answer is 6. For the J... We have I over M, so we have 0 0.09, I think, for the I, and M is 12. So divide the two, you will get 0 0.0075. After that, you will get these two given. So we have N equals 6 and J equals 0 0.0075. And we have R equals 3000, N equals 6, and J equals 0 0.0075. So hindi na natin kailangan yung, yung time, or T, M, at saka yung I. Kasi meron na tayong bagong Da, da, dalawang given. Okay? So, itong tatlong na to ang kailangan natin. Yung R, N, at saka J na lang yung kailangan natin. So, we have this formula kanina. So, F equals R, quantity uh, 1 plus J raised to N minus 1 over J. And then, just substitute the given to the formula. This is the given now. So, please follow me and do this in your calculator uh, using your cell phone, maybe. So, kung nyari gumagamit po kayo ng cellphone ngayon, so, just follow me. 1 plus 0 0.0075. Or, mas maganda, open parenthesis, 1 plus 0 0.0075, close parenthesis, uh, raised to 6. So, I repeat, pakitype sa inyong mga cellphone. Quantity, or close pare uh, open parenthesis, 1 plus 0 0.0075, Close parenthesis, raise to 6, use raise to 6, minus 1, then click equals. Okay, after clicking equals, divide 0 0.0075, then click equals again. Alright, then mul uh, click times yung multiply sign or multiplication sign, and then 3,000. So, after answering this portion, times 3,000, and then click equals. Alright. And you will get 18,340.89. Round off your answer to the nearest hundreds. You get it? Alright. Let's have another example. In order to save for her high school graduation, Marie decided to save 200 at the end of each month. So every month, like si Marie ng 200. In the, if the bank pays 0.25% compounded monthly, how much will her will be her money be at the end of 6 years? So 6 years, no? Uh, so ibig sabihin, maaaring nag, uh, nag, uh, nag-banko si Marie noong siya ay grade 7 at kukunin niya ng grade 12 kasi 6 years. 
And then, 200 pesos every month ang binabayaran niya. At ang banko ay nagbibigay ng 0.25% compounded monthly. So, magkano ngayon yung perang may ipo niya kasama ang interest? So, first write the problem and then write the given. For our R, we have 200. Our I is 0.25 or 250 is okay. 25, pareho lang naman yun. Our 0.0025 move to decimal places to the left. And then M equals 12 kasi monthly, compounded monthly. And then T equals 6 for years. Okay, now we have N equals MT. N is, M is 12 and T is 6. So we have a total conversion of 72. And for the J, we have I over M. That is 0.025 divided by 12. And you will get 0.00083. Yung 3 magre-repeat lang siya. Okay, please write all of these uh, numbers. Okay, or much better kung 8 decimal places ang gagamitin mo sa J. Now, uh, for the given now, our new given are R equals 200, N equals 72, and J equals 0.0002083. Put them, uh, this is our formula, and then put them to our formula. So on your calculator, please write, this one is bar, ibig sabihin, Uh, continuous yung number. So, okay lang kahit wala, di mo siya lalagyan ng bar sa yung uh, calculator. Now, get your cell phone. Click the following. Please follow me. Open parenthesis. 1 plus 0.0002083 close parenthesis raise to 72 minus 1. Then, click equals. Okay na ba? Then, Your answer, divide to 0.00283, then click equal, equals. Okay na? Then, click multiplication sign times 200. You will multiply your answer here to 200. Tapos na ba? Alright. So, you will get 14,507.87. So, yun yung naipon ni Marie sa loob ng anim na taon sa paghuhulog niya ng 200 pesos sa kanyang bangko. Alright? So, with that, thank you very much for your listening. The part 2 of our uh, simple annuity lesson is all about when the principal is missing. So, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video for more updates. Bye!